On this edition of Turnin' Texan, Adley is joining me because we're here at the iconic Texas Chainsaw Gas Station, literally called The Gas Station. Yes, it is the gas station. I'm a huge horror movie buff, so I just had to tag along with this one. And this gas station, even though it doesn't have gas, just like the gas station in the movie, there is a lot to see just in time for Halloween. And thank you for letting me tag along. I'm excited to have you here. I'm a little scared to go alone. So we're going to go inside, <laughs> check out all of the cool memorabilia, and you're going to come with us. We're now inside of the gas station. We're here with Chris. He's going to tell us all about it, but start with the room that we're standing in right now. Um, this room right here is just uh, our, my, my, our main store parts. Um, we do sell collectible toys. Also, you place your orders here to place for barbecue. We have um, different types of toys all over the place and some of the old antiques that used to actually be here as part of the gas station. And that one was a part of it, is that right? Yes, that's the uh, Coke machine that used to be outside over here. It's completely been refurbished. Um, it's one of the only things that's the original. What else should we know about being inside here? I mean, this is an iconic stop for a lot of people. Well, people come here from all over the world. They come here just to check out the place because it was in the movie and also to get collectibles and things. Uh, also, we do have a lot of people who don't know anything about the movie who just come here for the good food, so. <laughs> and yeah, we're excited to try that, right, Adeline? Oh, definitely, and it is. It's, it's cow, right? The brisket, it's not. It's 100% beef, like yes. Movie. <laughs> so all of our sausage and uh, our brisket is all beef. It is not human. Okay. Good to know. Because <laughs> if you've seen the original, you'll you'll get the reference. <laughs> and if people want to stay a little bit longer at the gas station, they can actually stay out back. We right? do have four cabins out back, two with uh, queen-size beds and uh, tw uh, full-size beds, and two with king-size and a pull-out couch. And you got to book them very in advance, right? Okay. Yes. Right, right now, um, being the spooky season, we are kind of booked up on the weekends and stuff and uh, all of our special events usually get kind of booked up. But it's best to get with us about a month or two in advance if you want to stay. Oh, and speaking wow. of special events, do you guys have any events that are coming up? In March we do have the cult classic convention. We have uh, 25 to 30 different horror celebrities, 45 to 50 vendors, live music all three days, and good food. So it's a really good time. So mark your calendars, come back to the gas station for that in March. First weekend in March. Okay, good to know. And since I am turning Texan, what makes this place such an iconic Texas spot? Well, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre was one of the best horror movies ever made to begin with. It's an iconic spot because it was in the movie. Also, because it's just great food and a lot of fun to come out and hang out with the family. Yeah, and so you're going to show us around the property a little bit so I can yes, become more Texan, get involved with the gas station. So I'm really looking forward to that. We'll see about getting on a meat hook outside. Oh, God. <laughs> This is a replica of the van. It's the same year make and model as the original van from the movie. Unfortunately, the uh, original was destroyed, so we do have just the um, just the replica of it. The only difference is the doors on the back right here, and other than that, is the exact same uh, van from the movie. <laughs> Natalie, what are you yeah. thinking? Would you well, drive this around? I would, and I'm sure people drive really far just to come and see this gas station, just to come and see this car. Yeah, we have people come from all over the world, but last summer we had a, a couple coming from the UK the first day of summer, and they had rented an RV to go to every Texas Chainsaw Massacre spot in the U.S. And they started here uh, as their first spot, but they were going all the way to California for part three. Oh, and wow. you gotta start here, because this is where the first movie was mm -hmm. filmed. And it was also within the first 10 minutes of the first movie, so. Oh, yes. okay, yeah, right here in the heart of Texas in Bastrop. I just watched the movie last night, but for those of you who might not have ever seen it or haven't seen it in a while, tell me about the scene behind us. Um, this is a uh, door frame scene from um, the original movie cover um, where Terry gets hang on the meat hook. Um, it is an iconic um, cover for any movie, but uh, we have a little replica out here with the meat hook and the gore bucket. It's amazing. And I have to ask, do you think I'm on my way to turn in more Texan? Uh, I think it'll be more of a Texan once we get you up on the meat hook. Great. Okay. Oh, now you have to do it. <laughs> okay. Get her up there. <laughs> That was good. I mean, you got a, a future in, in acting. Thank you. It's, it's practice from the haunted house. 